dear civil engineers now we are going to check for our torsional irregularity of our structure so this is a very very important topic for our structural um, um, analysis okay so your our structure should be torsionally fit to resist the torsion of our structure okay so when earthquake will come then torsional effect or rotation will uh, work around our structure so uh, to resist that we have to maintain our structure properly so to do that we have to go top floor plan from plan will go rope apply then okay so when we're in rope okay when we're in rope now i'll go here here different shape then from here load case or cage just select ex and we know they have three step so for single single step we'll uh, go for it we have uh, three step you know two three okay we have three step so for step one if for ex i'll go here apply sorry for that i'll go for apply now when we are here we are seeing that they have torsional movements so if we go for uh animation just see they have a movement of our structure but we are seeing from that side i mean with respect to that side our structure are moving in that side more more than our uh i mean from top to bottom it's uh, rotating more than so this will make a huge destruction of our structure at the time of earthquakes so what we'll do actually we'll take there that this is beyond or this is under our limitation okay or not so i'll stop animation now for x correction i'll take mouse here just see the movement in x direction for that side 0.4266 inch so i'll open excel sheet torsional irregularity check for so for eu that an earthquake x for uh, here minimum 0 0.466 maybe 0 0.4 uh, here 0 0.4266 0 0.4266 this is minimum and uh, we're seeing in that side is maximum and this is 0 0.88 maximum is 0 0.88 okay done then we'll go for eqy and this is for a step one and if we go for a step two so this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.75 okay just see for 0 0.42 and 0 0.88 our structure are irregular in both case our structure is irregular that means our structure are not regular for x creation earthquake and uh, for other case no need to check actually has yes, for only one step our structure already uh, proven that the um, uh, structure is irregular so we'll go for we have to go for our next step for uh, y direction okay so i'll go here and for y direction i'll take it again apply and uh, i'm sure for y direction that will be okay so here for y direction 0 0.38 ui and here 0 0.48 38 and 48 that means it will be okay 0 0.48 and 0 0.3 38 or 38 that means in y direction our structure is okay regular both are regular now again for wind load i'll go for wind load uh, otherwise if you want to take it at a time then go for absolute maximum then apply just see here 0 0.5 and here 1.0 the movement is 1.0 and for which a step it's giving us maximum we have to go three okay for a step number three this is 0 0.35 and here one that means uh a step in a step number three it's giving us huge uh, rotation of our structure 
so if we go for animation a little bit you see how is uh, interacting with our earthquake effect just see this is this is really really uh, giving us a huge or serious warning for earthquake so to resist that we have to uh, take our model or we have to maintain that irregularity perfectly otherwise it will be very very uh, destructive on the time of earthquake maybe okay so uh, to create a safe structure we have to maintain that and i'm just stopping that so uh, i'm sure that for wide duration they have no issue but for x duration they have some issue i mean for extreme regular and uh, irregular uh, for both okay um, for both extreme irregular irregular and extreme irregular for both case this is irregular and uh, for wind load also same way we have to check for wind load but uh, i'm not going to change che uh, check that again because we've seen that for uh, earthquake it's already irregular and for wind load um if you just go for ux and if we go for uh here if we go for a step number so for uh wind load they have 12 steps just see for 12 steps so one by one you have to check it for windex just see here 1.83 and here 0 0.91 that means almost double that means this also irregular and for a step 11 one by nips check it for a step 11 you see uh here uh ey 1.87 okay and here actually uh if we go here in 3d view then we'll be able to see that perfectly in 3d view now we'll go for a step 11 so in 11 if i start animation just see what happening here you see how the types okay i mean at which that they have no staircase or uh, lift core there how much it's moving actually see so this is very very important to focus on it then if we go for another step step for step 10 apply you see same this is uh for uh y direction 0 0.1.04 and here it's uh, for y uh 1.04 and for x 1.8 so uh we're seeing that actually if we go for that side also and if we go for animation Let's see how your structure are being effective we just no need to think about that now what we have to do actually to solve that issue we need to increase the stiffness of our structure okay we need to increase the stiffness of our, of our structure we have to uh, increase our column size we have to increase our beam size otherwise we need to provide some shear all at which direction where at that direction where the structure or structure are uh, moving or the structure are uh, rotating a very high degree so we have to maintain that so that was the way to do it i hope um, this is okay for you and in this way you have to go for torsional irregularity check and uh, actually this only one check for only one check or structure are being failing on check now they have another important check that is history drift check or history drift ratio so we'll go for it i'll 